Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for Saturday the 1st going into Sunday the 2nd of May 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend's reading, I am using the Druid Craft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Cargon. Okay, my wonderful friends, before we start, let's do the moon cycles for May. Uh, your new moon is in Taurus and on the 11th. Your full moon is in Sagittarius and is on the 26th and is also a lunar eclipse. And our good old friend Mercury goes retrograde on the 29th all the way through till June the 22nd. <laughs> OK, friends, well, let's see what fabulous message Spirit has for us for this weekend. OK, here we go. What is, thank you, the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Thank you. For Saturday the 1st, going into Sunday the 2nd, OK, Spirit's saying it's not that one, but that one wants to go there. OK. So your cards are, wow, Major Arcana, number 17, the star. Oh, followed by the six of wands. And finishing with Major Arcana Zero, The Fool. Wow. Okay. Your first card is Major Arcana, number 17, The Star. Major Arcana, speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. Oh, friends, you're feeling inspired. Um, there's creativity flowing through your very veins I, I am hearing wow <laughs> um, there is renewed or restored hope there is a new sense of peace this is this is a time a weekend of healing I am hearing from spirit um, and the star, it's uh, your dreams uh, or wishes being granted or coming true. Um, so this is, a, well, it's going to be a very nice weekend, my friends. <laughs> this, again, is more of your inner wisdom, your inner knowing is, is, is deepening. You are trusting your intuition more and more and more and the more you are trusting your intuition the more the creativity is flowing i am hearing wow one and seven adding up to the wonderful number eight the number of abundance manifestation harvest so wow friends <laughs> and i'm looking my eyes are really drawn to the standing stones in in the background there um of the henge um and i'm feeling that also that this is you 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 are standing tall spirit is saying you are standing tall because you are um as we look at this illustration the the uh, lady has one uh, foot in the water and the other on um, on stone. Um, so this is you being in balance, um, truly harmonised, I am hearing, um, and united. That you, you are united with the divine. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Next we have Major Arcana. No, we don't. Sorry. Next we have the Six of Wands. 
So six, the number of balance, harmony, um, equal proportion. It's the number of achievement and that is what where you are with the six of wands. Uh, this is a card of victory, success, it is achievement. Um, six also the number of karmistic debt being repaid. So this is more from spirit letting you know of, of this paradigm shift that you have made really leaving the old you the old way of living and being and doing um and really moving into these new oh spirits just giving me creative juices all, all the creative juices are all flowing this is where the juice is spirit is saying um and when you can get in the energy of the star um which is real balance and, and harmony and being that in that place of peacefulness I am hearing uh, that's where all the victory is spirit is saying um, ones uh, fire energy um, so this is a real celebration you can celebrate this weekend spirit is saying for you have gotten yourself into a place where all the creative juices are flowing and you are feeling peaceful you are feeling hopeful you have put your dreams and desires out there and you are you are resting assured knowing that spirit is going to grant your wish um, and you just have to be in this high vibe energy uh, feeling successful feeling as if you already have this dream wish goal desire or vision um, and even acting as if you already have it um, is bringing is what is going to be bringing it to you spirit is saying oh and i'm looking at on this card the color the green really calls to me this is your heart chakra you are leading with your heart center um everything that you do is coming from your heart um your heart mind connection uh spirit is saying is is in the perfect place at this time oh wow 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 green growth balance harmony um it's all going on friends it's all um a first a fertile time spirit is saying this is a real fertile time <laughs> oh okay your second of the two major arcanas is zero the fool the fool representing a brand new start and i'm loving this the fool coming up the card the fool card coming up for us at this time because the fool he does everything he does his new beginnings his new starts with real enthusiasm with a sense of adventure uh, this is what i'm the energy that i am sensing and picking up for you friends and spirit saying you can go and chase your dreams it is safe for you to do so you've been putting in all of this inner work you've got yourself into a a, a state a state of peace a state of grace I'm even being given. Wow, well done, friends. Um, and the fool, the, the fool um, really wanting to show you that your life is an adventure. Um, and so it, you, you can go and uh, chase your dreams. And you will be, friends, because you have, oh, you trust your, you trust the divine. You have faith in the divine. But also, <sighs> You are trusting your your own intuition. You are really using it now, understanding what why it's there, understanding why you have all of these gut, gut feelings, um, and you're feeling in, inspired. Spirit is saying you are inspired. You are ready for this new journey, um, and as we look at the fool, um, he doesn't really have much baggage here. So um, some of you have. Or will be this weekend spirit is saying doing some more decluttering it may be in the physical um, but because it's the full card I'm really uh, spirit saying this is more 
um, decluttering uh, your mind because the more you can uh, get rid of any negativity that is going round in your mind, uh, the mental gymnastics, um, you clear a space. So when you clear that space, spirit comes right in, comes right in, grants your wishes, grants you your dreams, gets the creative juices flowing again so that you can be back on the on the road to success. Wow, wow, wow. Sometimes the fool, he, he, he's, his energy because he's youthful and it, it, he's never done what he's going to do before. Um, it, it's almost like he's, he can take a risk. Um, but this is another step on your spiritual journey, friends. Um, and spirit is coming with you, although this, he, he's got his dog. Um, I'm really picking up on this is a... Um, a spirit guide so another message from spirit that wherever you go um on this earth plane um even if you if you, if you are walking the path alone spirit wants you to know you are never alone never ever for spirit walks with you okay next we will have wisdom of avalon by colette baron reed <clears throat> <laughs> okay. And your Wisdom of Avalon card is, let me just lower that a little more, is, oh, number eight, the Lady of the Lake. Absolute truth, courage, self respect, responsibility. Oh, wow. Okay. The Lady of the Lake represents the highest order of respect for yourself and the manner in which you operate within the world around you. She is the harsher element of truth where denial is swept away by a tidal wave of events. In the ancient legend of Avalon, the Lady of the Lake presented Merlin with the Sword of Truth which had been claimed by Arthur, who became High King of Britain. The magic that, we that welded this metal was fired by the will of the god-goddess. Const consequently, when the Lady of the Lake appears, she demands nothing short of total truth and integrity, and she asks you to be mindful of all the signs, signals and omens that present themselves to you. This is not the time to second guess. If a signal appears, be assured that a challenge has been presented. Moving forward without acknowledgement of the challenge will result in unnecessary difficulties. If the signal is to move, she pushes you to act. Do so for a victory. Wow, is imminent. Regardless of your question, the message is to take care when the Lady of the Lake appears. A serious business is at stake. The Lady reminds you of your personal responsibility in shaping your reality and its consequences. Seek the sword of truth within yourself and great success will be yours. Have courage, for when the Lady appears, the strength of Avalon is behind you in support of your quest for wholeness and abundance. Oh, wow. <laughs> A perfect card. Okay, friends, next we will have The Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. Number 19, Dog Spirit. Be loyal to what you love. 
Wow. Uh, one and nine adding up to the wonderful number 10. Uh, the number of culmination, reaching that peak, reaching that ultimate, uh, beginnings, endings, endings, beginnings. Uh, there is a new, this is more of this new beginning start, this end of this paradigm shift, this new you, this ready to take risks because you are trusting your yourselves you are being loyal to you to be to and to what you love what you love doing okay let's read from the book okay dog spirit appears to remind you that although change is a part of life and all of us are meant to evolve our love and commitments remain strong. You are loved now and you can trust that this higher love is true. Spirit loves you and love has arrived in many forms now, manifesting in the people you surround yourself with, expressed uniquely through them. Dog Spirit also says, be true to that which you love. For now is a time of good fortune. Be steady as you recognise that people and things are always transforming. Your heart is loving and true and Dog Spirit wants you to know that your steadfast commitment to experiencing and expressing love will attract and manifest more love. You deserve all of it. Have faith in Spirit's plan for you. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Hope you are getting the message, friends. Oh, boy. Okay. Next, we will have Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. is the message oh thank you ruby okay your card from ruby the kind red spirit is oh perfect <laughs> passion do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. These last few readings, friends, it's all about just keep raising that vibration as, as high as you can. There's no limit, um, Spirit is saying. Absolutely no limit. So being lo be loyal to what you love. Do what excites you. Oh, this is getting the passion back for, for life. For, oh, this is you loving life, I am hearing from Ruby. Loving life now. Okay. Ruby says, Life can be an exciting adventure, if you want it to be. You never have to settle for less, or accept feeling bored, or unfilled. You can live a fraction of the possibilities that are available to you or you can open your arms wide and say yes to life. This fire unicorn is here to ignite the fires of passion in your heart. Set your life ablaze with energy and enthusiasm. Do more of what lights you up and fearlessly pursue your passions in both your career and your personal life. Have the courage to go travelling, change jobs or start your own business. Take a stand for what you believe in. Speak out on issues you care about and get more involved in making a difference. Get out into the world. Laugh more, dance more, love more, live more. Leave fine and normal behind and choose a new life of amazing and fabulous. Decide. To play the game of life by your own rules, living boldly with a sparkle in your eye 
and fire in your heart. This card can also be a call to increase your energy levels so you naturally feel more alive. So clean up your diet, get more sleep, exercise regularly and nurture your body. And when your energy levels are high, so too is your passion for life. Ooh, passionate weekend, anyone? <laughs> okay, let's go for a trinket. Okay, oh, there's two. Uh, so your first one is an angel and it says, Angels watching over me. Where would you like to go? On the star card. Okay. And angels also a sign of protection. So this is another message for you from spirit that it's safe. It's safe for you to... For this new start, this new beginning, it's safe for you to follow your instincts. That's what your instinct is there for. So this is you using it as a, as a tool now, as it's meant to be used. OK, and next you have. B, <laughs> a little B. And where would you like to go? It wants to go on the six of ones. And I'm not surprised because bees, they are. So they are success. They are um, well. They they're also about family, but about productivity. Um, hmm. Organizations. A good organizer is is also coming, and and bees. Well, they just enjoy life. Live. This is this is you, friends. Living life to the full. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Well. I hope you have an absolutely amazing weekend, my wonderful friends. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye. <laughs>